Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to uh, introduce the show and then you'll say hi to the bots and bodies? Sure. You want to do okay. that or do you want me to do that? Yeah. yeah. I'll introduce. Well, hey, Vinny. What's up? Hello, Mr. Flash somebody on the dork table at <laughs> realivertymedia.com. RLM radio.xyz. That's for you and me. Grimner's experiment, the RLM. Yeah. So oh, here we are. Uh, another Saturday. Shabbat Shalom. So we're, <laughs> we're talking about uh, Christian Zionism and Zionism in altogether. Uh, a very good article that uh, I found fills in a lot of the history that I haven't known. And I found that over on Twitter from Christine. Christine but Felixa. first, we're going to say. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations to Bots one and, and all. Bodies. Yes, one and all. Yeah, especially that smart ass bot. Getting better. Yeah, we're not we're not specious here. We do not exclude the bots from the bodies. No, we're, we're just sexist and we keep women suppressed. No, we don't. Sure, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay. The cakes is arrived. Are you sure we're Are you sure we're not suppressing the women? Well. Some people suppress the woman, I know. No, no, no. I'm being suppressed. <laughs> See, my wife's going on in the background. She's being suppressed. T tell okay. her to shut up. <laughs> I, I, that would kind of <laughs> prove the point, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, Grimner says he hears us. So, hey, Barman, Beetle, Grimnir, Moose Girl, Brackets, DC, Anti, Asmo, Beth Z. Free enslaved, Graham Z, I B done C, Java Doctor Two, Miss Kate, Rob Works, Trust No One, Vada White, Vinny, Weather Dork, Phantom, and well then, Circle, Hello Honey, Cyborg Noodle, D Dork Cakes, A Mental, Me, hey, Fr and Cirque says Hey Mental. Frump one, Frump E, Goober Zilla, Gromit, Jays, Nines, Jays, Kiss, Kiss underscore, Ponder Gander, Prince with a T, <laughs> Bone Sauce, Sock Puppet, Smart As, and Yawa. Uh, that's the lineup Prince. of. Uh, yeah, those are the typables for the entertainment today. Yahweh, that's kind of fitting for Is, the, uh, oh. yeah for this article on uh, Christian Zionism and it's uh, it's really its founding base. I found an interesting name involved in that, which is Charles T. Russell, Charles T. Russell. Well, he does, was the founder yeah. of. Uh, does this That's have anything to do with one particular subject, or is it like a yeah, lot of different? Zionism. Zionism, and it oh. shows the political, uh, religio-political connection in the building of it. Uh, I had taken it back into the mid-1800s, and this one even takes it back uh, a little farther. Of course, the, the whole idea, of it, it extends even farther than that, and it, it's uh, kind of a, be a, a sister cast to, to yours on the uh, Khazarians. Oh, that even okay, takes yeah. It farther back yeah, to yeah. this... Uh, idea of this uh, nation state so this is more recent information from where, yeah. where we start okay i got it uh-huh yeah. yeah well then yeah, i think it works really well with uh, with what you got put some kind of note in the notes for that so if anybody is following it because we got a little bit of a following out on bit shoot as far as i can tell really? so yeah beyond you know we got the rlm folk but there's more people on bit shoot than uh RLM. <laughs> so, you know what I mean or not? Well, yeah. Yeah. We're not Democrats here. We, we don't let the dead vote. <laughs> so there's a drop that in there. Um, Do you let the dead uh, vote where you, in, in your congregation? Arkansas is famous. Yeah, they even... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll even kill him first. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Vinny. Holy shit. Now I'll never gonna I'm never gonna get Cirque to want to visit anybody I know in any of the good states in America, because all the good states just have this wild side to it that makes my wife nervous. 
Hey, listen, I'm going to do something here. This article comes from Mint Press, and uh, uh, I, I was thinking okay. maybe I should know who they are, and I'm going to do the, the real dumb, simple thing and go to Wikipedia. And co copy and paste that into the... Uh... Okay, uh, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna keep the notes today, so I'm gonna make a copy for the notes while you're all right. So why don't you Let go me... ahead? And, did you post it in the main? Uh, I'll grab the <clears throat> excuse me. I'll grab the uh, the wiki here. I might even want to find something better than that, but I'll, I'll start with wiki. Mint Press uh, News was founded by Namar is uh, Maha Mahawesh, a broadcast journalist uh, journalism graduate of Saint Cloud state university he began her or she began her career as an intern at minnesota television station k-a-r-e and as a freelance journalist after posting her own work on a blog in 2011 she decided to launch her own new site uh, and, uh she believed that our media had failed us miserably don't we all and spoke of her aspiration for mint press citing uninformed public debates around issues like Iran's nuclear capabilities or intervention in Syria, we are in a crucial time in American history where most Americans don't know what's going on in the world around them. Mint Press News said it was a non it was it was a for profit regular news organization with an in, uh, initial business plan where advertising revenues would exceed cost after three years. Mint Press's anonymous investors were originally intended to fund Mint Press operations until 2015. However, in 2013, in an email to BuzzFeed, uh, Mahawesh said she re, uh, restructured the business plan and was now the sole investor financing Mint Press. So there's a... There would be some kind of uh, probably uh, want to know more about who this Menar uh, Mahuesh is. Uh, is that like uh, Indian or, or, or how, Pakistani? What kind of name would that be? How would I so know? Obvious. Uh, I would say there would probably be obvious bias against. Uh, oh, you, uh, you weren't asking me anything then, right? Well, yeah, if you answer, I was. But if not, <laughs> I was. Oh, so I don't know isn't good enough for right. you. Huh? Well, I'll grab that. Anyways, just a short background on Mint Press. Hmm. We want to know who our our source is, right, when we're uh, citing hmm. some information. But this is all. Um, and did I copy that one over and drop it over here? I think I did. I don't do know. It one more time. I see. You know, it is called hmm. Untold Story of Christian Zionist Power, United States, Israel. There, what well, must be the Mint Press news Right? Yeah. From Wikipedia. Yes. Yeah, he posted it. Yeah. It's there. Okay. But it doesn't <laughs> have time. the long explanation. Yeah, that one. That's got the title in it. All right. So you can <laughs> see what you're getting your eyeballs onto. Okay. Well, um, I'll tell you what. Why don't what? you give a, a short synopsis, real quick? Just a uh, short outline, real quick, of the uh, the uh, uh, Khazars that, uh, that what you've been covering here in this other. How do you mean? Uh, just uh, tell us real quick who the Khazars are. They came about in power. They uh, debated on who would be a, that'd be a Jew or a Christian or a Muslim. Yeah, you're doing a pretty good job of it, the way I understood it. Anyways, they Look, were, the, the whole uh, point, converts. yeah, but with the whole point I got out of the reading material I read on the, on the program <laughs> was it's just a story that's being freaking told to you. There is nothing that you can or cannot prove about it. It's just people telling you shit. So you either you take it to heart and you live your life by it or you don't. And I don't. I think it's a kind of like a source of amusement most of the time. And, and often a way to explain how we got into the shithole we're in as a collective now. We got here as because we were lied to about where we were going in the first place. Well, I would be able to take your story, this story here, hmm. and also combine it even with uh, Epstein uh, and Ooh. the people, players involved in all that. I think you would find them. Hey, Moosey, are you here? Hillbilly indeed. Uh, uh, I, I think you would tie those people in. And I, I'll also say people like uh, Billy Graham. We will hear about uh, uh, 
what's his name? Not Sammy Hagar, but one of these TV preachers. We'll get to his name in the article. Sammy Hagar, uh, not a no, TV I'm just preacher. Kidding, not Sammy Hagar. No, he did the <laughs> "I Can't Drive 55" ad back yeah. back a while ago, back with the eighty. Just kidding about him. But it, it is Hagee. That's the preacher's name. Oh, Hagee, not Hagar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Fooled <laughs> me. To him. Okay, we'll you tricked him. me, mister. Now, also, I would say also that, uh, um, and, and I've only read halfway through this, so maybe we'll even find this come about into the story. But we'd find people like uh, uh, Billy Graham, uh, uh -huh. who evolved out of uh, the tent uh, revival meetings that became the radio revivals that uh, then, you know, filled stadiums of people uh people that have propagated this uh christian zionism idea uh are very very powerful and very very connected we see the um, uh, all these names would uh easily uh, come together i i see grimmer i'm gonna have to block this out of the way there it is jed clamp it easily the second <laughs> jed jed was from, from the <laughs> Not far from here. Hello, You're Robert. Getting yep. punked. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a Jed Clampett was a very wise man. Yeah, but the, your fellow dorks are punking you on the RLM. Uh, <laughs> it's that, kind of amusing. Is <laughs> a big compliment. Yeah. Mm. Proud as a peacock. Yeah. Why? Well, what are you, you so proud of? Proud, proud of what you do, right? Well, yeah. What, so if you're not proud of what you do. What are you? Uh oh. Uh, is there a one-word answer for that question? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, okay. No, honestly. Can you narrow it down to, like, within certain boundaries? I, I'd like to, yeah, uh, narrow it down in definition for myself. I, I've toyed with this, and I finally come up with this as title. Mm. That I am a witness, judge, mm. advocate. Yeah, I think well. describes my uh, My indoctrination position. will kick the shit out of your indoctrination uh, any time. Now, you can you can boil that down into the name that I've uh, uh, the nom uh, the nom de plume in uh -oh. some ways or moniker yeah. as the uh, ponder gander. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people are very. Uh, I, I'll also tie this in to Trump, and I should have uh, saved that one. I think I closed it out. I'd have to go find it again. But <laughs> why the Christian right is so enamored by Trump? And even even uh, all, all these aspects of these people um, that Trump, you know, he, he can say things like, uh, yeah, when you're a star, you can just do whatever you want to. You know, uh, of course, what you was just talking about there, the last your last broadcast, I think, uh, uh, telling what the guy you can just walk up and grab him by the. Well, yeah, feet. but that's see, that's locker room talk and yeah. to carry it on as a grown man in a public, you know. Where it gets to the public in the first place is bad. Well, all these people in power that sit in these seats of decision could all be tied together. And you can find this core in this uh, yeah. uh, Christian Zionism. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really changed the whole um, concept of what uh, was accepted as norm by uh, the mainstream Protestant Christian. Uh, angle on uh, Israel uh, as a nation and as a people and who they are. Yeah. So it's called been called dispensationalism, uh, and where they've taken this seven year period uh, of the seventy of seventy weeks of that is prophesied in Daniel about you know the viability of Israel and its uh, uh, chance to see it. The Bible is a demonstration of wrongdoings, the wrong things, and. Um, the doest thou wilt law as as opposed to uh, uh, the 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 law that is uh, enamored in christianity of uh, uh, do good do right you know the, to love god and to love your neighbor to be like dudley do right yeah right dudley do right okay but he he was somebody's a, talking to me Dud, dudley do right is a dumbass and he accidentally solves crimes so Hmm. And his girlfriend loves his horse. <laughs> so it's a weird cartoon if you think it through. But yeah. thank you. Thank you, Canada. <laughs> yeah, Moosey, that's correct. They are stupid, bigoted zealots. Hey, uh, no, that's correct. You, you know what a scam that Yankee Doodle crap is, right? 
What about the macaroni? The Is song? No, macaroni? no, that that <laughs> song that they played in the '30s, that Yankee Doodle song. <laughs> well, we song. have to sing it so we. Can no, get I'm not going to sing it. I'm making a point Yankee to you. Yankee Doodle went to town riding well, I, on a pony. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck try- a feather in his. Probably oh, one of the. That's some version of it, but it's the way the English mocked the Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid American. Pretty much, yeah. That's because, the way the French do it. Well. Everybody only knows what they read in the newspaper or saw on TV. <laughs> Other than that, how do you know it ever happened? Somebody told me it happened, so it happened. Oh, okay. Exactly. Look at how well that's working out for everybody. Huh? 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 Right. I hey, want video proof. To top my cup. Yeah. You're right, but. He's going to go top his cup while I don't top my cup because I thought ahead and I got a nice hot beverage before we went to do dork table podcast on this saturday the 13th of july and that's july to all you old timers out there that have slow hearing <clears throat> two zero shut up i'm talking two zero <laughs> one and nine <laughs> you're welcome there you, you know you're back <laughs> Got, i'm un- back with black now un- back sh- with black. unshut black up company. now damn it yeah <laughs> Uh, now, well, where was I? I was trying uh, to speak a uh, British you, accent in well, French. Well, what I you were think. doing is trying to, you're, you're trying, to me, as far as I can tell, you have pointed out that the people that call themselves Jews on a historical level are not Jews. They're no. something else. But if you're a religious zealot and you follow religion, these people are Jews. <laughs> so God's chosen people, yeah. Right. This is what they're called. Well, what a crook. I mean, come on. How could you write a better story than that? <laughs> I had well, a little snip here, a little bit of extra nose, and look at me. I'm fucking special, baby. <laughs> I found out some interesting Not you. Uh, no, yeah. Hey, no, back up me. here, buddy. I'm the special one. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> Okay, what did you find? Hey, tell uh, <laughs> tell Circle Chloe, yes. just ask him where are you. Oh, Excuse Circle, me. honey, Chloe is asking where are you live on the radio. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Cirque's come to her senses and is boycotting the show. <laughs> She's joined one of my many boycotts. <laughs> let me uh, let me do a copy paste here. I'm gonna that's how now. I that's how I vote. I vote with my money. <laughs> what happened? I don't there. buy it. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Get it? <laughs> Just kidding. Around. Hey, Vinny, are you there, hey, Vinny? I am. I'm copying and pasting <laughs> and putting stuff. Over oh, here. crying out loud! And well, while I think I think Chloe's listening. Well, while we do live radio, you're copy and pasting, <laughs> multitasking. Yeah, it, wow. Yeah. When I grew Wrong up, tune, Mr. I want easily. I want to be like. Oh you. no, that was uh, that was one of tacos. What a taco! My name so, is now E A S L Y. It's an acceptable spelling. But, so uh, what, what's the deal? Are, my duck persona yeah. that flies through the. Uh, Are we being overhead. boycotted through Chloe now? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I I was putting over uh, the. Uh, I said I'm dorking it on mm. RLM. <laughs> yeah, so here yeah, I just speaks address. for itself, huh? But but you got this really good link to pontificate about. Yeah, you know what? Let me uh, let mm. me do this and give credit where credit is due. I'm going to copy the uh, link to tweet uh, from Christine. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, Christine. Uh huh. Here's okay. uh, here she is. She's uh, a patty as as opposed to me being a poop. Or, oh or yeah, what we, are those? we communicate. Oh, you know, that's yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, thing is the yeah. communication across lines. Yeah, but right? did you where start we... reading your story? I I was no, doing but other I things. will. Okay, that's where I was lost. Right. Let me yeah. have a sip of coffee. Please. No, have um, a guzzle right, of listen, coffee. We got, we've got one minute till the first minute <sighs> report. So let's I wait till the end. Demand you have a guzzle of coffee at once. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Hey, load your bowl, sir. I am doing so right now. How did you know? What do you got? Are you watching me on the camera again? Yeah, I got mine taped over. <laughs> but I told the NSA to leave me alone. I didn't want their 
free subscription. Oh, I've been listening to uh, right. some really good audio books. This guy is Have like you? a new Meacham in so many ways. <laughs> Wait, what's an old Charles Meacham? Charles Strauss. Yeah. You know the Strauss. guy that wrote uh, um, uh, Here what go. was the one with the bugs? You know, it, Grimner knows who he is. Tell him who, who, who he is, Grimner. Why? You're the one on the Starship radio. Trippers. Okay, yeah, he's a writer, okay. Charles. Hey, it is 420 somewhere. Somewhere, it's somebody. 420. Somebody. I'm trying to load a bowl. Somebody type that in chat for me, please. What? 420. Help me out. No. It's 420 somewhere. What do you think I'm your it's, damn... It's 420, thing, there you go. Well, if this the thing Thank you, you do, why am I doing it for you then? Because you're helping me out. We're free. Wow. What, My hands what are a, cool. What an excuse. Something. Listen, if I was snake bit, would you suck the poison out? No, you're you're gonna die. That's the that's the last day you're gonna ever have on this planet. Uh, thank no. you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Salute. Happy 420, America, and all points beyond the borders of the good old U.S. of A. All across the world. Because I mean, there's loving people, and then there's being a dumbass. And if if you're gonna do something stupid like that, you're going to get killed doing it. So, see ya. Uh, this is good stuff. Right you know there. that, right? Oh, we, hey, we've discussed the medical up. the medical ramifications <clears throat> of cutting the poison and sucking it out. Oh, you're, ugh, how stupid. You'd have to be a moron. Or maybe like Superman from another planet. Oh, I didn't drop this link. Hey, do we have any? It. Do we have any aliens in the RLM chat today? Or is everybody here you know, from I, Earth? I miss, I miss Solomon. <laughs> Solomon was more from Earth than most people, and well read too. Thank you, Moose. Guy, I did. Guy read his shit. I, you know, I remember one argument. He was he was um, trying. He wasn't. He had an argument. It was the other one was trying to make it an argument. And the response to the guy was, read a book. <laughs> and it just tickled me because that's what the answer to the question was. I read it in a book. I read it so in a book. the answer to the guy being an idiot to him was, I read it in a book. That's how I know you moron. You know, because just because you can identify a truck wreck doesn't mean you've survived a truck wreck. It just means you know Whoa. what one is. I've right? seen them. Just well, okay, but I'm just saying. Then some people would would have to see the picture because they've never seen one with their own two eyes. It's a difference. There are people that live that kind of life, and you might find this hard to believe, but no major trauma. They go through a whole fucking lifetime without nothing major happening. No bank robberies, no murders, no rape, no nothing. And then they Hello, get friend. old, and their kids put them in a. Uh, old guy home and they die <laughs> okay I, so I was, we talked about i don't know i was stalling for you i thought you were going to oh, do some it, reading on this yeah, here program I was, I was bouncing around i'm like halfway down through this article so oh like, why don't you try reading it from the beginning very tippy top oh, okay and uh, again right. this is from uh, mintpressnews.com forward slash okay console. i'm gonna warn you now when when it gets stupid, I'm going to interrupt you. Good. good okay. Good. Yeah. You've been Untold warned. story: Christian Zionist power, United States, Israel, uh, forward slash. And there's dashes between those uh, two six zero five three two. All right. So we talked about Mint Press. Who this woman is that uh, started this not too many years ago, uh, but I found uh, this is backed up a lot of history that I know, things that I've read uh, and added to that for me as well. So thank you, uh, Christine, for your post and me finding this. The largest pro-Israel organization in the United States is not composed of Jews, but of Christian evangelicals, with a total membership of 7 million, more than 2 million more members than the entirety of the American Jewish community. <clears throat> members of this organization... Christians United for Israel, that is CUFI, met in Washington on Monday, attracting thousands of attendees. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, 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 missed, I missed the part, part at the top. This is from July the 12th of 2019 by Whitney Webb and uh, Whitney Webb on uh, Twitter. And I will be sure to go follow you. 
Yeah, and I post I posted a copy of the link in the notes. Good. So, <laughs> uh, so members uh, uh, of the. Oh, okay, so they met Washington on Monday, attracting thousands of attendees, uh, of attendees, and featuring speech, speeches from Israel, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Secretary of State and former CIA Director Mike Pompeo, Vice President Mike Pence, and National Security Security Advisor John Bolton. CUFI's leader, uh, controversial evangelical uh, preacher. Here he is, John Hagee has met with President Donald Trump several times and was recently a part of uh, an exclusive White House, White House meeting in March on the administration's upcoming peace plan for Israel and Palestine. <clears throat> CUFI is but one of many organ organizations throughout the uh, American history that have promoted the state of Israel and Zionism on the grounds that a Jewish ethno state in Palestine is a requirement for the fulfillment of end time prophecy and necessary for Jesus Christ to return to earth, an event Christians often refer to as the second coming. Um, somebody said something here. What? Yeah, they From. said they were coming. Okay. Uh, I'm seconds. on air. Yeah. Right now, I get it for you though. When uh, I guess when I can switch over, you want to take up and read? Sure. Sir? Why not? Right. I'll Thanks. I'll just I'll keep them busy it. until you're returning. Return this. Right. I'll go get that. For uh, you left off at that third paragraph. CUFI is but right. Let me look. Yeah. Uh, CFI. Yeah, but one of many many organizations. Uh, organizations throughout American history that have promoted the state of Israel and Zionism on the grounds that. A Jewish ethno-state in Palestine is a requirement for the fulfillment of end of times, prophecy, and necessary for Jesus Christ to return to earth, an event Christians often refer to as the second coming. <laughs> While organizations like CUFI and its predecessors have long seen the creation of the state of Israel in 1948, and the latter Israeli victory and conquest of Jerusalem in 1967. As the fulfillment of biblical prophecy, <laughs> there is one prophecy that this sect of evangelical Christians believe is the only thing standing between them and the second coming. There are estimated to be more than 20 million of these lunatic Christians often referred to as Christian Zionists in the United States, and they are a key voting block and source of political donations for the Republican Party. Wow, you guys are in great company, huh? Oh, you're back. <laughs> I, so I, I, I cracked a couple. <laughs> it's hard for right, me that... to read this stuff. Okay. <laughs> I left off at uh, Republican from... Party, and it goes as well explored. All right, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> let me see where you wow. left off. I, uh, as was explored, that's where you're at? Yeah, that would be the next okay. bit. I'll, I'll pick up then. <clears throat> as was explored in previous installments on the series of the series, mm. these Christian Zionists, much like religious Zionist extremists in Israel, believe that the al Qaza Mosque in the Don't, and the Dome of the Rock must be replaced with a third Jewish temple in order to usher in the end time. <laughs> See, there's there's different ideas on this. There, there's mid, uh, there's pre, mid, and post tribulationist, and uh, then different sects of Christianity will have uh, variances on what all this actually interprets to be. <clears throat> but generally, the mainstream uh, Christian Zionist, Zionist um, believes that the uh, that will in uh, usher in. Um, the uh, final days and then the return of Jesus sounds to the, serious to the earth. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it really is because you got to consider too, a lot of these uh, people in power that have yeah. been uh, pushing that. We're going to yeah. find out about these people as we continue into this article. <clears throat> oh, there's more people to find out about. Yeah. So these two groups, uh, different uh, of different faiths, that is since the 19th century, have repeatedly formed an optimistic uh, 
opportunistic. Uh, oppor uh, opportunistic alliance in order to, to ensure the fulfillment of the respective prophecies. Oh, Despite nice. the fact that members of the other faith, faiths are rarely, if ever, on the same page in their interpretations of what occurs after the temple's construction. <laughs> yeah, we'll fight later. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of morons. Come on. Uh, this oh. this is not rocket science to figure out that just what you just read is not a good idea. Yeah. Why don't you just not at all. why don't we just go back to fucking dueling and just clean all this mess up? I'm so disappointed, oh. Vincent. But there's such good news. The apocalypse is coming. So this no. alliance based on oh. a mutual hey, that's probably a uh, that might be a good uh, good title. Oh, I already got a title. Wait a minute. Let me tell oh. you what it is. I'll I'll tie, I'll cut and paste it and put it on the RLM. The so you can continue to read. Okay, the alliance based on mutual obsession with the hastening of the coming of the apocalypse continues to this day. And now, more than at any other time in history, these groups have reached the heights of power in both Israel, in both Israel and the United States. Parts one and two in this article, you can click there to begin of this exclusive series explored how the, this branch of religious Zionism has come to dominate the current right-wing government of Israel and has led Israel's current government to take uh, definitive steps towards the destruction of the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the imminent construction of a third temple. Yeah, we've uh, we've been hearing about this. Uh, I think uh, uh, Al covered this. It's been a year or so or two maybe now back um well maybe not that long now they've got you know all this uh they're getting it set up anyways well they, of course they, they've, uh, they've got a please religious nuttery to you and i but to uh some okay people, this is a serious serious uh god business right? right that's the whole point that's it if you believe it it's real if you don't believe it it's not real but that does not stop an event from happening what, yeah, what I'm right. concerned. It, it's as real as, as anything. I, I guarantee you, they've been working a very, okay. very long time to get right. this set up. And what I'm, what I see is governments telling their people what their people want to be told, so that they can get the results that they want. Mm hmm Yeah, that's the way it works. Well, it's pretty from the Ministry of Propaganda, sir. Well, what if you don't read the Ministry of Propaganda's Propaganda? Then what do you do? Well, I'm going to go read the chat and see what you posted mm. the title as. Mm. Zionist, anyone? <laughs> yeah. You know, you could have called it Arafat Table for 400, but it would have gone <laughs> over your head. Arafat Table for 400? No, you got it, huh? Yeah, He traveled with a big group like uh, Kennedy and Trump and all these dumbass Oh, I don't get, I do, still, Vince, I, for the world, do not get the appeal to the, uh, the people in the public eye, in politics, and most of the freaking actors are, they're god-awful actors, <laughs> they're god-awful to look at, I mean, terrible. well, I'm just saying, you know, I come from another age, my, my interests would be more like, for, at this point in time. The 30s to the 60s compared to the crap they're doing today. All the good, oh, all the good, good, good stuff that has been done was done before we were given all this freedom shit. Freedom! Well, that's what it was sold as, and that's what people think it is, but it's not. If somebody's giving you something, they're not giving you fucking anything. <laughs> You're being set up. Shout out to Greg Wayland. Well, that's the, you know, maybe that's the Jewy Jewness that I live with to see the world, my friend. But I must say to you, it just strikes me as odd that somebody that can think for their self in this modern day world cannot see beyond, oh, I'm a slave to this freaking internet that I use. Because you get over, you can't get beyond yourself. And, oh! Most people... I go for confirmation of uh, what it is that they're believing in. So. Okay, well, I feel just as trapped by the Internet as anybody else that does feel trapped by it. I feel that way, too. But I make the best of my entrapment so I can enjoy it. 
What but, flag do you fly, yeah. sir? I fly the flash flag. Flash flag. It goes by so fast you can't see flag. it. Yeah, you just go, wow, that was a flag, huh? Yep. I don't. I don't well, want to represent fucking anything or anybody on this. Just me. Let me uh, let me go on towards Puritan's prophecy in Palestine. Uh, I don't want to. Now, feel this like installment, it. part three, will show how this movement uh, movement's Christian counterpart. We're talking about the, the Zionist of uh, Israel, uh, the counterpart in the United States. Christian Zionism has likewise become a dominant force in American politics particularly following the election of Donald Trump. I'm going to have to go find that. Uh, my next swap off with you, I'm going to go check my history and find that on Donald Trump and people that uh, that voted for him. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty amazing phenomena what's really going on here. It's all really related to uh, this right here, that where we get this history of uh, Christian Zionism. So likewise, uh, it has become a dominant force in American politics, particularly uh, following the election of Donald Trump to the presidency, when this, uh, where uh, this apocalyptic vision is a major driver behind his administration's Middle East policy. <clears throat> Yet this fire and brimstone version of the end times has long been a guide for uh, prominent figures in American history and the American elite even predating Zionism's founding as a political movement. Thus, Christian Zionism's influence on Trump administration policy is merely the latest of a long list of examples where prophecy and politics have mixed in American history, often with world-altering results. <clears throat> Here we come to the Puritans' prophecy and Palestine. Accounts of the roles of uh, Let's see, accounts of the role of European and North American Christians in the creation of the state of Israel often begin with the Balfour Declaration of 1917, but the efforts of certain Christian groups in England and the United States to create a Jewish state in Palestine actually date back centuries earlier and significantly uh, predate Zionism's official founding by Theodore uh, Herzl, and that's a German name, so you pronounce Theodore German, and Herzl is uh, how you say it. Are you sure? Uh, among, yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Theodore. Can I, can I trust you? Yeah, Herzl is okay. how you pronounce the last name. H e r z l Herzl. I don't. I don't need to get a ruling from the judge, do I? Oh uh, yes, you can check that. Among the first advocates, uh, you know, judge, advocate, witness. So be a witness. Yeah, for certain. Among the first advocates for the physical immigration of European Jews to Palestine were the Puritans, an offshoot of Christian Protestantism, uh, Protestantism that emerged in the late 16th century and became influential, influential in England and later in the American colonies. Influential per Puritans devoted considerable interest to the role of Jews in eschatology or end times theology, with many such as John Owen, a 17th century theolo uh, the theologian, member of parliament and administrator at Oxford, believing that the uh, physical return of Jews to Palestine was necessary for the fulfillment of end time prophecy. While the Puritan roots of what would later become known as Christian Zionism are often overlooked in modern accounts of where and why American evangelical support for uh, Israel began, its adherents, uh, still still uh, clearly acknowledge its legacy for instance on monday at the cufi conference pompeo himself a christian zionist known for his obsession with the end times told the group the following christian support in america for zion for a jewish homeland runs back to the early puritan settlers and has endured for centuries indeed our second president john adams a couple of years back said I really wish the Jews again in Judea as an independent nation. These Puritan beliefs, which uh, persist today and have only grown in popularity, became more entrenched in England and colonial America with time, especially among the moneyed political class, and led to a variety of interpretations regarding exactly what the Bible says about the end times. Among the most influential was the development of Christian 
dispensationalism, an interpretive framework that uses the Bible to divide, to divide history into different periods of dispensations and sees the Bible's prophetic reference to Israel as, significant, uh, as signifying an ethnically uh, Jewish nation established in Palestine. Um, here's uh, there's uh, a chart here. The chart of the age is showing the dispensations. Let me go see what uh, somebody's saying. Are you getting an STD from in your ears? Hearing aids. Grim Grimmer uh, said that about you. Ooh, uh, mental uh, mental pancakes. <laughs> you're getting ooh, you're getting the bad vibration. Yeah. So we're learning here what, where this is uh, founded out. This is why we're in the world we are today because of uh, we're not uh, learning fighting. so much as we're repeating fighting. that. No, yeah. well, see, these are just like. How I look at this whole fucking thing, it's very simple. I'm going to explain it once. If it goes beyond you, it's not my problem. The TV is in the living room. I want the TV to go on. I push a button, it goes on. Or I push a button and it doesn't go on. So until it doesn't work, I don't have a fucking concern about it. <laughs> You with me well, so far there, Felix? All right. So let's let's look at learning as more of than the, the bad word of being uh, conformed well, to ideas. Okay. But well, let's call it then deciphering because we can see what people have written. We can uh, we yeah. have enough history that we can see a pattern. We can see a path, and that's what Hal does. He exposes right. his path, but right? Vinny, along Vinny, the way. Vinny, Vinny, uh, Vinny, Vinny. But you're, yeah. you're putting this to me, the way I'm hearing you speak of all this, right? <laughs> the person <clears throat> that is for what we're against, that person is as hard to convince that they're not seeing the truth as we are about how we see this. So Yeah, well, I'm not even going to try to attempt that. Yeah, but doesn't I, matter. It doesn't matter. I don't try to change anybody's mine it doesn't I just share my learning experience so okay well let me finish my work. thing hey you're cutting me off there mr microphone so <clears throat> what i'm trying to explain my side of this how i see it is having the the link is the argument doesn't matter if you read it doesn't matter if you don't it only adds fuel to the fire that you read what we already know yeah, well, we're going to get into some the who's involved in all this, too. We? Oh, this is a dark table, my friend. Have you, have you taken control of the dark table? What is going on? Well, I'll bet, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't I can give, give a you a shit. chart of the ages. Hey, I can punk you, right? Can I, edge, yes. can I uh, punk you, you while you're yeah, I'm stalling while yeah. you're going to your next paragraph? Let's see if this is posted <laughs> a picture here. I'm still going to fuck with you, though. As Ponder Gander. Yeah. Yes, it did post as a picture. Oh, did you did you Ponder Gander yesterday? Uh, no. I didn't think so. I didn't see you, but that doesn't I'm mean you didn't. This, off for the summer. Unless something comes up. And, <laughs> You're off all right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was, I'll put this smoke out. I was running out of shit to, to talk about Thursday night. Just had to just, just end it. Went, oh, guess I'm done. <clears throat> <laughs> well, yeah, I invited you on. You didn't want to come on. Went, eh, no, call I it a night. Not. What? Well, sometimes I feel more talkative about a topic than others. And radio, you can't really put this in a time frame. It's kind of a mood that you're you're either you in it or you're not. <laughs> can't yeah. pretend to be in a mood to do this. That that I can't find. But when I'm done, I'm done. And today right. we're doing the dork table, pal. <laughs> Uh, I had to fry you like an egg. So why don't well, you go on? Let and me explain. Okay, I'll go on. I, I, let me explain yeah, that. That's continue. from Charles Russell. His his vision interpretation of uh, Darby's dispensation yeah. circa, circa 1886. Continue you, bashing my people, okay. you freaking you, Jesus lover uh, guy. <laughs> so it's important to know who Charles Taze Russell was, and uh, he was uh, he he began the Jehovah Witnesses Church, uh, and. We'll just continue on. Dispensationalism was largely developed by English Irish preacher John Nelson Darby, who believed that God is ordained and fates of Israel in the church 
were completely separate and the latter to be physically removed from the earth by God prior to a foretold period of earthly suffering known as the tribulation. In Darby's time, or in his view, the tribulation would begin following the construction of a third Jewish temple, the temple uh, on the Temple of the Mount in Jerusalem. This belief is a physical removal, removal of Christians from the earth prior to the tribulation, widely known as the rapture. And as I said earlier, there's three views in that, a pre, mid, and post. <clears throat> as the rapture was invented by Darby in the 1820s and its lack of scriptural support has been widely known by theologians of various denominations as well as biblical scholars. However, it is important to point out that there are differences among dispensationalist Christians as to where the, the rapture will occur. Oh, well, there it is, before, during, or after the tribulation period. <clears throat> Wait a minute, I don't have a period. It's not going to happen during my period or after my period, because I don't have one. Seven, it's a seven-year period. It comes from uh, what? the 70 weeks of Daniel. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so there's, oh, there's yeah, time. Oh, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so more from the Bible. Oh, Yet despite yeah. its relatively short existence as an idea and lack of support in the Bible, the rapture was enthusiastically adopted by some churches in England and the United States, particularly the latter. This was largely thanks to the work of a highly controversial theologian, Cyrus Schofield. A very big point coming up here, the Schofield Reference Bible. Notably, uh, Darby's brand of Christian es uh, eschatology coincides with similar uh, developments in Jewish eschatology, huh. namely the idea, uh, ideas of Rabbi Zvi Her <laughs> Kalisher and the creation of a new branch of Jewish messianism <laughs> that believed that Jews must proactively work to hasten the coming of their Messiah by immigrating to Israel and building a third temple on the mound in Jerusalem. Darby's beliefs, those he inspired, uh, promoted something similar in the sense that Christians could hasten the coming of the rapture and the tribulation by uh, promoting the immigration of Jews to Israel as well as the construction of a third Jewish temple. <clears throat> now, Christian Zionists paved the way for Theodore Herzl. Darby traveled to North America and several other countries to popularize his <coughs> ideas, meeting several influential uh, pastors throughout the English-speaking word world, including James Brooks, the future mentor of Cyrus Schofield. <clears throat> his travels and the spread of uh, his written works popularized his eschatological views among certain circles of American and English Christians during the religious revival of the 19th century. Also, if I can find out, very good uh, history on the uh, the uh, the tent events, shall I call them? Well, if you're going to make up a name to call them, no. Tent events, <laughs> yeah, yeah, tent events. Event, yeah, you know, they'd go. Uh, um, people come from many miles. They travel days, two or three days, just to get there and camp, and uh, that evolved into the radio evangelism and into. Um, like I was saying earlier, like uh, Billy Graham and his revivals. Hey, so Grim's got a message for you on the Real Liberty Media. Uh, left behind, neatly folded stacks. Yeah, you're watching too many movies, Grimner. Yeah, that was some series of propaganda. The Left Behind series that also <laughs> <laughs> coincides into this very ideology <laughs> of Christian Zionism. It's a big. Uh, promotion and propagation of this uh, this idea that we're speaking of. Okay, but see that here's here is my problem with your point, Vincent. Is the majority wants it this way? They don't care about why it's this way. This is just the way that they want it. You're not. We're not talking about people that can define the color blue. They just tell you it's blue in the story. There is no explanation. So. You're never going to get anywhere with it. It's, it's, a, it's a loop. This is uh, this is history. This is just uh, setting a record. Yeah, it which is a loop. That me trying to. Uh, it's a loop. It. Ah, fuck. It doesn't matter you or yeah. me. It's still it's a fucking circle that we all go through over and over in our own little circular way, and it, think it's different because it's not me. 
It's the yeah, same well, thing for well, everybody. A lot of people don't see or even choose to uh, <clears throat> review history. And like I said, yeah, it's all here we go with history. together. You go into yeah. the early 1900s with the Azusa Street Revival. Uh, you know, again, uh, a spur off of what I called what, the tent events, these revivals. Tent, that, yeah, the revival evolved. events, yeah. So it's been a very long time coming. You know, this this whole setup for the takedown um, is very patient. These uh, families that continue in power. Yeah, and if you're day. if you're a movie buff, like Goober, <clears throat> Goober's a movie buff. He sees the he sees the same story in the movies that I see, but from a different angle. He's looking at the spaceships and aliens, and I'm looking at the politics and society. Yeah, and I see how movies guided. Uh, what's acceptable, how police can behave in the street. Absolutely. You know, it was movies that were make they were making about undercover agents and all this crap. Man, I, in real life, if you get caught by people that are, you know, think that you're their friends, and they catch you lying like that, you're not going to look all, all pretty when you walk out the room, if you walk out the room. I mean, that's, reality and movies are not the same level. <laughs> It's different. But it seems to me that people judge reality by their knowledge of film. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking for something. Oh, so I'm pontificating and you're just going on about your story. Eh? And then somebody else's... Uh, Go well, back to your Zionist... Relation to what you were talking about. Let's see, somebody said something. What did they say? Well, Dork Cake says uh, we could get raptured, or is that Grim? Grim says you can get raptured on September 20th by going to the uh, that alien thing. They're having an alien fest. Oh. They're going to well. storm. Every day it's 100,000 more people than the day before. Today it was 400,000 people are going to storm Area, area 51. <laughs> so can you imagine? if Where are they going to eat? I mean, come on. You, you're going to end up, the center is the middle of nowhere where there's no food to feed 400,000 people. Or water. What? Wow. You're going into the desert. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, I was thinking of a different author. It's uh, Heinlein. Uh, uh, man, I was making fun Robert of the Heinlein. invasion. And you, well, Go ahead. Go away. Yeah. You're, Heinlein. Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, Dr. Heinlein. <laughs> yes. He is... Uh, very futuristic now this guy he's oh, a modern writer he? his name i was talking about earlier charles strauss ah. he's really you know putting homeland security and the, these uh no-name agencies and stuff uh it's uh really a good author I, i've enjoyed uh this is i think the third book i've uh, listened to him from this is called the reese's chart uh, there are some other empire games and uh tourist of the apocalypse no that was somebody else cf waller <laughs> Anyways, i like this author wow uh, here we go. No, there's reveals. Uh, and we're going to talk about people, too, you know, further down in this article, like Huxley and uh, others that uh, really set, you know, L. Ron Hubbard, really set the, uh, the idea for many uh, minds to think. Right? Okay. Well, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of things that people never think of. And you know what one of them is? What? Is that you're one little person in one little bit of place, and no matter where you are, that's it. <laughs> there I am. Yeah. So the bigger the surroundings, the bigger you feel important, the more important and empowered you seem. I'm going off of living in cities. How I how I look back and how I see the way I, I lived compared to the way I do now. See, most people now mm -hmm. are, you know, confined to their little Xbox or whatever, or the children that uh, um, are now, what, one out of ten are autistic now. In America, Gra uh, Grammy was talking about that. Wasn't she? I haven't caught her show from last night yet. Yeah. I'm and just going to do it the, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the difference between Japanese and American children. Ooh, somebody thinks you know, I they, don't get the joke. What? So they're not they're not uh, giving these babies a. Uh, oh. <coughs> Jackson heard Hannibal barking, sir. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm I didn't think it was that loud. I heard her. I thought, oh, well. But see, I'm the calm one about the dog barking. Doesn't bug me like it bugs Hannah, uh, Hannah's other human. 
All right. Well, let me continue then. Here. I don't think so, oh, Mister. Put your hands up against that. Uh, well, you got any weapons? Uh, you got anything in your pockets that might <laughs> stick me or hurt me in some fashion? I should be formed about by now. <laughs> Probably. <They're> the <laughs> uh, Darby's beliefs in particular were, were particularly attractive to the lead of both countries, with some English noblemen. Uh, placing newspaper advertisements using Jews to immigrate to Palestine as early as the 1840s. <clears throat> uh, another prominent figure influenced by Darby's end time doctrine was the American preacher Charles Taze Russell, whose church later gave rise to several different churches, including the Jehovah's Witnesses. Decades before the founding of modern political Zionism, Russell began preaching not to Christians, but to Jews in the United States and elsewhere about the need for mass Jewish migration, immigration to Palestine. As Rabbi Kalisha had done a few decades prior, Russell penned a letter in 1891 to a wealthy, ooh, listen to who these people are, to a wealthy member of the Rothschild banking family, Edmund de Rothschild, as well as Maurice von Hirsch, a wealthy German financier about his plan for the Jewish settlement of Palestine, Russell described his plan as follows. <clears throat> My suggestion is that wealthy Hebrews purchase from Turkey at a, fair value, uh, at a fair valuation all of her property interest in the lands, i.e. all the government lands, lands not held by private owners, under the provisions that Syria and Palestine shall be constituted a free state. The, la the same plan was to resurface, resurface a few lay. Uh, <clears throat> try one more time. The same plan was to resurface a few years later in arguably the most influential uh, Zionist book of all time, Theodore Herschel's *The Jewish State*, which was published in 1896. Look at all those people. There's another picture. Russell addresses an audience of American Jews in New York in 1910. Photo is. Uh, public domain. What did somebody say? I heard them. Do you see it? Oh, it's over here in politics. What? From uh, L. Ron Hubbard oh. and a plethora, plethora of others are mentioned in Amazing Polly's article. Yeah, I uh, uh, Amazing Polly's uh, Polly. Yeah, Amazing Polly. Uh, she's on YouTube. I, I uh, was listening to her earlier on the... Uh, the Mad Science was the name of that. Uh, let me see. I think I actually have a link right here. I certainly do. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Mad Scientist. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's where I was actually in the beginning using that as reference of uh, uh, tying Epstein into all this. And like I said, this stuff, uh, it, uh, it spider webs into every aspect of our uh, eco-religious political uh, society. Yeah. Amazing Polly. She's on uh, Twitter, too. And they're on YouTube. So there's her YouTube link. Um, let me go back over to the article. So it goes on to say it's uh, it's unknown whether Rothschild or Hirsch, Herschel, no, Hirsch, uh -huh. was mm -hmm. influenced uh, at all by Russell's letter, though Russell's idea did have a lasting impact on some prominent American Jews and American uh, excuse me, Christians, with regard to his promotion of Jewish immigration to Palestine. It's that uh, the same year that Russell wrote his letter to de Rothschild and von Hirsch, another influential uh, dispensationalist preacher wrote another document that is often overlooked in exploring the role of American Christians in the development and popularization of Zionism. William E. Blackstone, an American preacher, was greatly influenced by Darby and other dispensationalists of the era and had spent decades promoting with great fever uh, the immigration of Jews to Palestine as a means of fulfilling <laughs> biblical prophecy. The culmination of Blackstone's effort came in the form of, Black to of, of the Blackstone Memorial, a petition that pleaded that the then President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, and his Secretary of State, James Blaine take action in favor of the restoration of Palestine to the Jews. The uh, largely forgotten petition asked Harrison and Blaine to use their influence to secure the holdings at an early date 
at, of uh, uh, international con uh, conference to consider the condition of the Israelites and their claims to Palestine as their ancient home and to promote in all other <clears throat> just and proper ways the alleviation of the suffering, their suffering condition. <clears throat> As with uh, Russell's letter to De Rothschild and von Hirsch, it is unknown exactly how many influ how influential the Blackstone Memorial was in influencing uh, the views of policies of Harrison and Blaine. However, the Blackstone Memorial petition is highly significant because of its signatories, which included the most influ influential and wealthiest Americans of the area, uh, of the area, the majority of whom were Christians. Uh, signatories uh, of the Blackstone Memorial include J.D. Rockefeller, the con uh, country's first billionaire, J.P. Morgan, the wealthy banker, William McKinley, future president of the United States, Thomas Brackett Reed, uh, then Speaker of the House, Melville Fuller, Chief of Justice uh, of, the United, of the Supreme Court, the mayor of New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Boston, and Chicago, the editors of the Boston Globe, New York Times, the Washington Post, and Chicago Tribune are among others, and numerous others, other members of Congress, as well as influential businessmen and clergymen. Though some rabbis were included as signatories, the petition's uh, content was opposed by most American Jewish communities. In other words, the pre uh, primary goal of Zionism, before it even became a movement, was widely supported by the American Christian elite, <clears throat> but opposed by American Jews. They're like, we like America. We don't want to go there. <laughs> you can only imagine. Yes. Uh, life in the desert. Uh, are you talking to me? I'm talking uh, oh, to okay. you, man. All right. Just well, the, Black, the Blackstone Memorial would later attract the attention of Lewis. Uh, I looked up the pronunciation of this. Let's see if I remember. Brandes. Uh, B R A N D E I S Brandes, one of the most prominent American Jewish Zionists who would later refer to Blackstone as the real founding father of Zionism. According to Brandes' close friend Nathan Strauss, Brandes would eventually succeed in convincing an elderly Blackstone to petition then President Woodrow Wilson with a second Blackstone memorial in 1916. That was prevent uh, was presented in private to Wilson nearly a year later. <clears throat> Instead of gathering uh, gathering signatures from from prominent members of the American elite class, uh, Blackstone this time focused on shoring up support from Protestant organizations, namely the Presbyterian Church, in key keeping with Wilson's uh, Presbyterian faith. According to historian Jerry Klinger, president of the Jewish American Society for Historic Preservation, this change in focus has been Brandeis, not Blackstone's idea. Author Weir, author of uh, Against Our Better Judgment, a hidden history of how the U.S. was used to create Israel, described Brandeis as one of the most influ influential American Zionists <clears throat> and a key figure in the efforts to push Wilson to support the formulation of a Jewish state in Palestine, of which Blackstone's second petition was part. However, we are asserted that Blackstone's second petition was secondary to a so-called gentleman's agreement, whereby English officials promised to support a Jewish state in Palestine if American Zionists, led by Brandeis, were able to secure the United States' entry into World War I. Uh, then what enter the uh the uh, lusitania right we we finally had convinced we had to get in right yep <clears throat> mm, good water yes professor <clears throat> that's exactly what i thought <clears throat> i thought so wilson's ultimately supported the blackstone's uh, new document which was never presented publicly to the president but privately by rabbi stephen wise the second Blackstone Memorial was a key component of the Brandeis-led campaign that eventually guaranteed American support, i.e. private support, for the Balfour Declaration, which established British intentions to support a Jewish ethnostate in Palestine. Notably, the Balfour Declaration is named for the then, uh, then English Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour himself, a Christian dispensationalist, 
though we're told, Mint Press, that Balfour was more likely influenced by political imperatives than uh, religious religious motives. The only person in the in the British cabinet to oppose the Balfour Declaration was the only Jewish member, Edwin Montagu. Balfour Declaration was addressed to a member of the Rothschild banking family, Lionel Walter Rothschild, the latest in a series of letters written to members of the Rothschild family, using them to use their wealth and political influence to favor the creation of a Jewish state in Palestine. From Rabbi Kilisher, who wrote to Baron uh, Amschel Rothschild in 1836, to Charles Taze Russell, who wrote to Edmund de Rothschild in 1891, and finally to the Balfour Declaration written to Lionel Walter Rothschild in 1917. We were told Met, Met Press that the Rothschilds figure so prominently in these early efforts to establish a Jewish state in Palestine, owing to their wealth and the power that goes with it, making them very sought after by those who felt that a Jewish state could be formed in Palestine by the purchase of the territory by wealthy European Jews, as both Kalisar, Kalisher and Russell had proposed. However, the Balfour Declaration was addressed to the Rothschilds because, at that time, members of the Rothschild family, Edwin Day Rothschild in particular, had become among the strongest supporters of the Zionist cause. Through the Declaration carries his name, it is unclear whether Balfour himself actually authored the document. Some historians, such as Michael Rubenstein, former president of the Jewish Historical Society of England, have made the case that the declaration itself was written by Leopold Amory, then political secretary of England's war cabinet and a Zionist who, despite his commitment to the Zionist cause, obfuscated his uh, Jewish roots for much of his career uh, for reasons that are still the source of speculation. <clears throat> As shown by the Balfour Declaration and the lobbying efforts that led to its creation, support for what would soon become known as Zionism among the, uh, among the nobility of England and the United States was already uh, formidably, uh, formidably for, before uh, Herzl even began to work on the Jewish state, that book. It's worth uh, considering that the power and influence of the religiously uh, motivated class of Christian elites had influence on Herzl and his ideas, particularly given the fact that the dispensationalist Christians had been promoting a Jewish ethno state in Palestine at the time when the idea was unpopular among, among many prominent Jews in Europe and the United States. <clears throat> I think I'm almost the end of this part. Furthermore, the role of Christian Zionists, as they would later become known, continued well after Herschel began his Zionist activities and resulted in many of the most influential acts that led to the establishment of the State of Israel, including the Balfour Declaration. Notably, Herschel's own success in promoting his views following the publication of the Jewish State was largely due to English dispensationalist pastor William Hetchler. Hetchler, while serving as chaplain at the British Embassy in Vienna, forged an alliance and later close friendship with Herschel and was critical to negotiating between Herschel and prominent members of the German government, including Kaiser Wilhelm II, which lent necessary political le legitimacy uh, uh, to Herschel's Zionist movement. Now, this right here, I mean, this, this tie to German uh, and the, the actual Zionists in the Nazi movement that, that came to America and is now you know, so infested that, uh, you know, it's just so infested. It's the way the, the world is working. It's, uh, it's really something how all this ties together. So a largely uh, overlooked figure in the rise of Zionism, uh, Herschel is mentioned in Herschel's diary more than any other person and passionately felt that the creation of a Jewish state in Israel or in Palestine would uh, bring about end times. Uh, Herschel is also known to have been extremely interested in the construction of a third temple on the Temple Mount, having devoted considerable time in creating models of that temple, some of which he prominently displayed in his office and showed to Herschel with uh, great enthusiasm during their first meeting. 
There he is. There's a picture of him. Mm. Hat off. <clears throat> um, okay, last paragraph here before Schofield. The Herschel, uh, let's see, the Herschler, Herschel. <laughs> Can you say that? Herschel, no. Herschel. No. <laughs> Alliance. It is one early example of how Christian Zionists and Jewish Zionists used the motivations the other for, for political gain, despite the fact that Christian Zionists often held uh, or hold anti-Semitic uh, views and secular Zionists, as well as religious Zionists, do not hold Christianity in high regard. Uh, the opportunity on, on uh, the parts of both Christians and Jewish Zionists has been a key feature in the rise of Zionism, particularly in the United States, the case of uh, Cyrus Schofield, the man more responsible for uh, popularizing Christian Zionism among Eng American evangelicals, offers, offers another important example. Okay, I got to stop for there. Right. At the surprising store of Cyrus. Okay. All right, Captain. This is very interesting. Though. Well, maybe so. Read? No, no. I was. Huh? It's the dork table. Don't don't bully me around on the dork table. I'm not. I have, my I'll, I'll have to go all Jewish on you and have you erase. So what, I wonder what said, what we see how all this builds together, right? And all these people and how it is now that uh, 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 the uh, Israeli lobby is. <laughs> You know the lead of the United States. Okay, so well, all right. Well, the, what is the answer to solve the problem? I'm not here to solve any problem. Well, we already know there's a problem, so we, defining the problem isn't what we're here for either. I co-opted you. <laughs> you co-opted me. What does that that's mean? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, that's what Grumner said. Oh, uh, no, nah, I just sat back and let Vinny run out of air. This is really, really a long article. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information that, uh, to be sorted out. Well, here. you just got to really have a good understanding. This is mind-shattering kind of shit that we're talking about here. People yeah, take this. this is history. Right, but people, no, they, see, that's what I mean is they take the history to such a level of person- it's real to them. It's as real as oxygen. And to me, it's just a story. My life's yes. a story. Your life's a story. All, all the, the books in the world, they're just written stories. Take them well, or I not. I see Jerry Farwell down through there. I wonder, in Netanyahu, uh, I wonder if uh, they'll get to people like Billy Graham. You know, he's kind of very high iconic in this uh, Christian Zeal for do you like for Zionism? Uh, well, I know more than no. Then do you like him? I said, you big bully. Well, I mean, I would like Bill Clinton. You know, if I met him, he's a real likable uh, guy, right? Uh, it's not an answer. Now you're acting like a politician. What do you feel Thank like? You. Okay, let's play the FBI and uh, and Vinny, and I'm the FBI and you're Vinny. <laughs> now. <laughs> Go ahead. I forgot what the question was. I'm not glad. So, there you go. <laughs> Next. <work>. Yeah. <laughs> back to your... Back to now. Well, back you're just to... taking an opportunity to bash on the Jews. And I, well, I'm not saying I'm the not. Jews don't They're have not it Jews. Coming. They're fake. Okay. Right. But see, it doesn't They're matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. Here, here we fucking go with all this. You're just turning the potato to the other side as far as I'm concerned. It's no, the, the answer doesn't offer fucking anything to me. It's the problem that's the problem. Not, not all this word shit we do. This is just to keep it alive, Vinny. <laughs> doing something and talking about doing something are not the same fucking thing. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. That's right. So, and every day I have the same experience now as the day before. I go out in public and I come home from public. Uneventful, pleasant niceties. Have a beer. Are you a, are you a publican? I don't know. I might be. But uh, I'm a familiar face to the local people that have business. So things are pretty good for me here. 
Are you a Zionist? Do you, I, you, I don't know. Would you like to become a Zionist? I, I don't think I'm an any of this. Listen, what if we could get you a paycheck? Nah, fuck you and your money. I don't want your damn... See, I don't want your damn debt so that I can owe you shit. No way. Keep your money. So, about this. I mean, what? we see that these people are setting up for... Uh, it's a setup for the takedown. It's... Right, but it's, it's, it's how we came to here. It's built into the game so you don't see it unless you're instructed to see it. And most people aren't open-minded enough to look at it and, and understand it's not a good thing. You're being screwed. Doesn't It doesn't ever translate to them. So, us talking about it, because we agree it's crazy, does not address that. There's crazy people out there that believe it. Calling us crazy. A lot of people do. Call, wait, oh, wait. I should hey, find let that. me finish. Me, Can I finish yeah. a fucking sentence yes. here, mister? Yeah. Okay, you sure? Uh -huh. Are you sitting down? I uh, am. Yeah. <laughs> you got any weed? Uh, I was going to roll a doobie for why don't you roll? Why don't you roll a big, fat doobie? Big, okay. big, big, fat, fat, fat. And then smoke it with all your internet friends. I will. So that they can get the buzz of a lifetime on the Dork Table podcast with Vinny. <laughs> there you go. I also want to find that on uh, Trump, why people vote for Trump. That all ties into where we came from there. See, yeah, to your and to the reality you're in, yeah, you see it. And the reality I'm in, I'm so not plugged into that. I don't see it anymore. I see this whole thing as just like a big story I'm being told. I can't prove or disprove any of it, so I just go along. You following or are you reading again? Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you follow along. Okay, I come from a time before they had the internet, so there's no proof of any of the shit that I did when I was growing up. <laughs> it's all gone, it's all history to the memory. Because we didn't have any anything beyond uh, what microfiche they used to use in the libraries back in what, four I years ago. That. Mm -hmm. Well, that was all replaced, but the things that they replaced weren't all duplicated. See, so you lost a lot of the information just to time, and nobody wanting to be around to, to be responsible to recreate it in a better format. You following the dotted line here, or I'm getting confusing for you, Uncle Vinny? Don't be confused. Okay, let me, here, this is how the military does it, all right? The military goes in and physically bombs the oh, enemy's yeah. infrastructures and history. Bombs them physically into oblivion. <laughs> Gone, right? So in 100 years from now, there won't be any physical proof of the way the world was now. It's going to all have been bombed away and rewritten. It may. Uh, I think so. Well. Yeah. Here's uh, from Psychology Today. That's where it was. Mind in the Machine. Yeah. What is this one of those, hey, we want a meteor kind of no, thing? This no, is, uh, oh. this is, uh, let me click it open here and go to the top. It's Psychology Today. <laughs> uh, complete psychological analysis. Hey, wait a minute. Trump Vinny. support. Are you gonna Are you gonna storm Area Fifty One on September the twentieth and that surprise invasion that's grown to four hundred thousand people? <laughs> no, four hundred. Yeah. Fuck no. Are you insane? It's a parody, but they got they got maps and it, if you read the maps, you get the joke. It's a joke. Oh. But every day it was a hundred thousand. The other day there was two hundred thousand. Today I opened it's four hundred thousand. <laughs> gonna storm well, Area. Go. Why? Because you could be like, we've got part internet. Of I'll part of the invasion. I don't want to be a part of anything. <laughs> Fuck you and your invasion. You want to be a part or a part? Of hey, yes, distant apart. Yes. You stay way the fuck over there, and I'll stay way the fuck over here. It's just a whole lot nicer for everybody involved. Yeah, shit. No, well, you'd like it here. You'd fit in. Yeah. Oh yeah, without a problem. There's even funny shoes. even no, but even the grouchy weirdos like Grim and and Rob works. They they find a niche, you know. There's a comfort level for everybody that's over like forty. I'd want to leave in the winter, probably. 
True. Yeah, but they're not even they're not even that bad. It gets down to freezing, and they might have snow that sticks for yeah, a day. Yeah, but it gets dark and stays dark, right? Oh uh, yeah, the the winter darkness is a little it's a little depressing, I think, in the long run. But cabin yeah, fever. Well, no, just it's hard to explain that lack of vitamin D. I think it's a physical thing, and you you just express it w- with words, but. There's not a way to feel it. I mean, you can't really define it. It's just blah. You know, when the sun's gone. Hey, it's, it's somewhere. Yeah, uh, light them up. But when the sun's no, gone, do you need to be told the sun is gone? Or can you, if your eyes are closed, can you tell if the sun is out or not? Even if you're blind, you can tell. Well, maybe you can't. Maybe some people are that numb. They can't they feel. feel. They can't. Well, maybe there's people that can't. How do you explain having an affection for Donald fucking Trump? Come on. Do you have brain dead you'd have that to be? Really, it's a, it's a very long one also and very yeah. in-depth on Back that. to the article? It covers yeah. different factions. Oh, that's the other one from Psychology Today that I posted. Yeah. All this ties together. Yeah, All I, I realize that. But from see, Epstein to, to Trump yeah. to the Clintons. Yeah, all that big money. Yeah. Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, the so, Irish, and you're Irish. telling me this because what? What are you going to do about it? Oh, what I'm you going to do about it, bully dog, huh? 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 Give a record. Come on, bark it up. Let's go, sport. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Because you know what? You know what the fucking leader of your country is going to do? And you know what he already has done? He's going to bomb <laughs> Iran. Nah, beside all that crap. That That's banking shit. I'm talking about the Jew shit. What's he gonna do? Donald what Trump do goes oh. over to the Jewy wall and he puts on a Yamaha on his head. And he goes up to the wall and he like tries to get it, you know, like warmed up for the next guy. It's very dis- All I'm getting is jibba jabba food. It's very disturbing to see this. But he's the piece of shit in the White House right now, so he's got to do it. And if you don't do it, then the Jews don't have uh, their military support and everybody's going to go fucking, ah, help, help. So they got this big oh, illusion man. to keep going. You listening or are you reading oh, some more? Rolling a doob- okay, but I see this big illusion going on, mister. And it's based on some violence and some this and that, but it's so isolated, most of us will just hear stories or see links or videotape. Or maybe the drone will have a camera or something. Yes, one a taco. Hey, have have you ever been droned? I mean, caught up. Yeah, I have been. By a drone? Uh-huh. Was it a bomb strapped to it or just a drone? Surveillance. I don't know. If we, it oh, it had a camera. Oh, so well, was, certainly, yeah. We it, were we got droned in Bunkerville. Were you like 14. trying to take a whiz in in the weeds and then the, the I drone saw, came I on? I saw it. And I was like pointing it out, and then people were trying to hush me. Uh, and then the oak, oak creepers, uh, they uh, they fled the scene. Oh, we're out of here, man! Nobody shot at it or anything stupid like that. Yeah, they were well in in uh, in Oregon up there. Huh. Um, somebody shot at uh, shot at the drone. <sighs> wow! The airplane flying over. Hmm. He was. I think it was might have been manned. Was it you that did that? No, sir. I wasn't there. All can right, can you prove that, that, that you weren't there? Where, where were you then? Huh? If you weren't there, where were you? Because I know something. You were somewhere. Because <laughs> you weren't here. <laughs> so, the way I see it, chances are you could have been there. Huh? 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 Argue hmm. your way out of that, mister. Go on. There's right. some, uh, Try no, it. I Try won't. it. Uh, I won't do it, sir. I won't. <laughs> well, you know, the, the reality of... of uh, Bullies with know. weapons and batons can get you to say anything they want, depending on how willing you are to be victimized, shall we say. And some people snap before they get hit and they give in. And some people don't and they get beat up. And then they give in. It's, let's see if uh, I'm over here in another place here. Let's Chuck Norris is an John. actor. That Good. stuff's not real. There's no such guy as Rambo, you morons. It's a movie. <laughs> it's not a fucking documentary. <laughs> this is fucking act. It's acting. <laughs> they're they're making stories up. <laughs> it's not real. Okay. 
I'm almost done. <laughs> well, so don't I'm you almost. ever just want to yell at people that, no, man, it's, it's a movie. It's not real. Tell Circle that Chloe said that Hannah sounds too sweet. Okay, but Cirque is unavailable at this what moment. What a fart. So. Oh. Uh, and want to talk about, oh, there's a lot of information I'll catch up, uh, y'all talking about, um, Lazarus, another guy, uh, Emma. All you gal, intelligent Lazarus. people are making me afraid. What am Pedestal I going to do? Of the Statue of Liberty. Oh this no, not Jewish that Bible, too. February, 1883. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I've, I've heard... authored a sonnet on. The Statue <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I've heard and read different different versions of different parts of this. And there I dropped that one, uh, Mind in the Machine. Uh-oh. More links. How many links are you putting in this show, mister? I think that's probably all of them. I there don't know how many. Else. I got I one. I well, so far I got one. That's so far, and that's it. Well, I got this other one right here. Oh, he's it. got another up. one. No, I didn't got it because you here, were. I'll put it there again. Oh, he'll put it there again into the RLM. Oh, oh. There. there you go. That Very was good. like Tropical big... Storm Baron. <clears throat> Five oh, minutes late for four Oh, minutes. there we go. Well, light him up, you big dummy. Wow, you got to be told. You know, you're, you're frightening me, Vincent. Okay, Ooh, hold on. I don't know, but I'm trying to pilot this here ship. Let's see. The untold. Have the rudder, mister. Uh, I don't rudder. No, I've got to grab my pipe. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to copy and paste a link for my notes, the note part of the oh, program. The shit I send to Grimner. Hmm. I've got it right here. Psychology it Today, right? Uh, yeah, Psychology Today, and um, I, I don't want. Press. Don't tell me what I want. I'll tell you what I want. And there's the, the wiki about Mint Press, if you yeah. want to put that in there. After I'm done telling you what I want, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to be Jewish and change my mind and want something else. Then I'm going to deny that it was my fault at all. It was all you. You did it. Don't don't blame me. It was him. <laughs> okay. Oh, good Lord. Psychologytoday.com. What? Is that the link you put in here? Ah. Uh, yeah, psychology today. Wow. Okay. A complete psychological analysis of Trump supporters. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Trump. how that ties into the whole Zionism. See, because he's uh he's like supporters. the uh, the Messiah to to so many people. Trump is uh, this uh, Christian Zionist uh, uh, people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna really like my notes. I'm telling you. <laughs> no. No, I'm, t I'm doing them. That, it's too late. You had your opportunity. I'm flying this ship tonight. You just be, you're the first mate. You go do what I tell you. Yeah, inside there you've what? got practicality, uh, Trump <laughs> morality. Uh, the brain's, uh, oh, the brain's attention to more strongly engaged by Trump. Well, okay, you more, know. It's more. But, Vinny. Oh, I'm just popping off some uh, headlines here. But huh. I don't take much of that too seriously it's just a point to uh make a joke about because be, be be reasonable about it it's just there are some things trump goes too far with even for me and i consider myself rather hmm, questionable at times with shit that i'm willing to make jokes about but trump makes me just shake my head Thank here's you. the one i like wow. about this some men just want to watch the world burn. Batman. <clears throat> yeah. That was out of the Batman. Well, that's uh, some of the Trump supporters. How do you and figure that? And the fear that? factor. Mm. Some people are supporting Trump simply to be rebellious and introduce chaos into the political system. They have much... Uh, they, they may have such distaste for the establishment and uh -huh. Democrats like Hillary Clinton that their support for Trump... Is a symbolic oh, yeah, little yeah, finger yeah. directed at Washington. Okay. No, I I agree with that that opinion to a point, but I see where I'm really confused between me and you and whoever's listening is the amount of people that are physically willing to get involved in these situations and where they're at 
it, it's not designed for any kind of change to ever come. Because wherever the no. wherever the population is big, they got water tanks and they got uh, armed. Uh, what do you call them? State troopers and trooper troopers, super troopers and pooper troopers, super duper pooper troopers. <laughs> hey, did you call Grimner grouchy? I have no idea. Maybe I did. Why? What's it to you, man? Snow huh? White and the eight drawers. They what are you going to be a Please, big old cry yeah, baby? I left uh, you out. Identical twin brother. <laughs> Grimner and Crouchy. <laughs> Who's picking on Grim? <laughs> uh, who could take a joke better than him anyway? Because without Grim, we got no RLM. So people are usually nice to him. I'm usually nice to him. I don't usually call him a dirty old bastard too often. Just once in a while. You know, so it's kissing ass is just nah but being nice and it's easy to confuse the two you know what i mean eh, 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 yeah. eh? If so well, oh well okay there's bound to the jews because uh they're they're the chosen people and all that kind of crap and not being aware of the shit you're bowing to in any detail is dangerous you know, you're you're submitting to a freaking enemy that's telling you they're your friend, and by the time you come around to realize that that whole thing was a bunch of shit, once you're in, you can't get out. And that's what I think's happening. Well, that seemed to hey. shut you right up. Oh, I was gonna go get something for uh, dirt cakes, right? Oh, there did I? And this right yeah. here, this is backdoor Facebook. I've uh, yeah. we've got Dably back up. Dably. Yeah. So yeah, oh. you can. I could. I could take a Facebook link and put it over to the Dably. Oh, yeah. Facebook. Then if you don't have yeah. Facebook, you can go see it. There's your turtle, right? I there. don't want to go to anything to see anything <laughs> from Facebook. I'm boycotting I'm talking, Facebook. Talking to dork cakes, Mr. Attention, dorks. This is a dork alert. Dork alert. We're boycotting the fuck out of facebook fuck facebook yeah. don't listen, even open it don't even to, look yeah. at it don't nope stop this is a way to <laughs> do it to it on the facebook to it stop back door back door how, how rotten so that they can get into your equipment oh no, no no this is a back door this is sneaking in they can't even stop you man so don't tell anybody about it shh be very, very quiet. I, well, I will be. I'm the last person. You know what I tell people? If they want to go anywhere, just don't go to Facebook. Anywhere else is better than that. Even well, Twitter's better than I Facebook. I do the Facebook thing. Twitter's Twitter. pretty Twittery, full of Twittery twats. You're up to your yeah. twat and Twitters. I'm telling you that. And maybe beyond, whatever beyond that is. That's what but Twitter do you is. You have chopsticks. No, but you know what I do have? What? My own way of looking at the world that I live in. Yeah? yeah oh, it's not very popular. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Even Cir Circle just... Mm, she just doesn't know what to make of it. But the, the results are the same, no matter what rumor I repeat. Because the information I got, I can't prove or disprove the world one way or the other. We just either agree with each other or we don't. But what what does that have to do with whatever it is, being whatever it is? doesn't change anything. So, back to the, you know, it's a loop. I'm stuck in this, like, a uh, Rain Man thing where you you're, you think it's a uh, an equation to be solved, and it's not. It's just a repetition. It's a word, word game. Would you like to be trampled by turtles? Twice. It's funny. Why? And Hold it. Hold uh, it. And which one of us called Gr um, Grim a grumpy bastard? Oh, Grouchy. <clears throat> Did grouchy. you call me Grouchy, <laughs> you bastard? I, it's probably me then. I don't know. We'll listen to the playback tomorrow and see how it went. But most Grimner of the... Grimner says you're not wrong. That's what he says over here in our secret. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> I Chloe laughed. Ah, uh, well, uh, grouchy. She said that you are wrong. Uh, good. It's all a matter that of interpretation. Grimner is not grouchy, sir. 
I, and as I explained the whole deal, they're, yeah. they're identical twins yeah. from the uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They yeah. they uh, interchanged roles throughout. Uh, they, yeah, Gr- Grimner would be grouchy. Uh, that they only build grouchy because he was the uh, more uh, ungrouchy brother. So we're just assuming that calling somebody are. grouchy is negative, though, right? I don't know. What is your definition? Oh, some people are just that kind of people. They can't be bothered with every Tom, Dick, and Harry that that one you know that wants to encounter them. Well, with Grim Grimnir's name, I I hijack it and turn it into Grimner. You know, like Grim Grim and Grouchy, Grouchy yeah. and Grim. Okay, wordsmith. Sure, why not? Yeah. How exactly is an observatory a defense of any kind? Uh, I, maybe the, I don't know, an observatory is a place you look from. So it's not. Well, we just be able to see shit coming. That's about it. I'm answering the question that's printed in the chat like some kind of a lunatic on the radio. Do it. Figure. Well, Grimner says, how exactly is an observatory a defense of any kind? And he posted a link next to it, NASA. And I thought the same thing, because you can look from it. It's an observatory. You're looking out. You'll see something attacking you. <laughs> You'll know right, it's coming. Exactly. But right. defense... That way you can throw rocks or something, right? Well, no, that's the point. Is How is that a defense? It's not. It's a way to see something. It's not a defense of any kind. Perfectly. But the person, depending on the... Okay, then you got this personal indoctrination into ideas Vinny. and people get taught shit depending on other things that aren't real well what do you think we got the movies like armageddon and stuff for so that you'll make a decision about shit that's not your problem right there you go so as long as you're distracted hey we're gonna use solar sails how are we gonna move this big old asteroid as long as you're concerned about something that big that you can't be involved in it in the first place you're not wherever yeah that that moment you're not where you are anymore you're living in that other place over there somewhere great right but you got to come back you can't stay there because well, no, I made a rule. Make them manipulate the mind. Do I got to type this on the internet so you can yes. read it? I mean, no. Yeah. I, D- type it and hold on. I'll I be just, back. I got to mute. I'll oh, be back okay. About like a minute and so. Yeah, he's gonna go back. He's gonna do. Vinny is gone. We all know that. <laughs> but uh, he's been going on today about the Jews, and because and there's plenty of writing about it. We've done shows about it before, so it's not a new topic. And if you're following the thing, well, all it just goes to show you is the names have been used to control how you see what you're seeing today. And the events in history, the big things that the governments are trying to physically accomplish, have a striking resemblance to the end of the world that they prophesied in the Bible. So, you know, without the government's uh, participation in the end of the world programs, there wouldn't be any end of the world programs. Just leave us all the hell alone. <laughs> That's not the game we're actually playing. I think the game we're actually playing is called I Want Everything and You Only Get a Little. And people just love this shit, this billionaire shit, and trillionaires and rich families and kings and queens senators and all this crap (laughs) just to me i don't particularly see it as uh it's just something to be identified but the results of it are absolutely disgusting have you taken a look at the sky lately do you know what's in your drinking water (laughs) we've been we're gonna do the dork table in uh, reverse today go backwards in time go back to a nicer time in life when things were better but then on the other hand it's mostly just being aware of how badly the system is rigged the uh the distractions you know the deception of they tell you it works like this and it works like that and then something happens and then you find out well hey Vinny. 
Right. Then you find out, hey, that didn't happen that way. Okay, I'm stalled for your delay extravaganza. What? 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 Yes, yes, yes. I, I have no idea. What about NASA? We're just talking about aliens and stuff, right? NASA. Well, I think Jet it's propulsion lab. I think it's all yeah. a bunch of malarkey. Yeah, uh, Juan Otaco points out uh, Polly's explanation of the founding of NASA. You know, the yeah, father right, of right, rocketry. Right. Okay. And well, they all tie together see, to Epstein. Vinny, proving it with words and documents is one thing. The other, <sighs> the other side of the coin is proving it with physical things that exist in the world. And uh, NASA even has this place you can go to visit the moon rocks that they brought back from the moon. So, hmm, I, I don't Operation know. Operation 440. To me, uh, 420. Part two. Yeah, but to me, it's like people just, they make up stories to fit the, the story they're telling. The details just are bullshit. And I'm the one smoking a pipe, saying that uh, I think that the stories that we get told as groups, you know, big herded groups, the more they got together, the bigger the lie the story truly is. And then you get on the internet and you find 40 people at RLM that pretty much see the point. The bigger the lie, I guess maybe it's easier to believe. It's like there's no way that could not be true unless it was true, right? <sighs> See, then you're, you're starting to split hairs with uh, perspective. You know, you're up, you're, my indoctrination is going to lead me down a certain thinking path way, right? And so is yours. So as we were growing up, we were being, in, you know, introduced to these things by other people. Now, the people in my life le kind of lean toward not taking it so seriously that it consumes you. So I just kind of ignore it. It's there. It doesn't. It's there, it's not there, it doesn't matter to me. There are aliens, there aren't aliens. I don't give a fuck one way or the other. Well, I've been I a got... rebel all my life, ever since I was a little kid. What's that, got to, years, what's that got to do be, from being from another planet? I'm not from another planet. How man. do you know? Maybe you are. Maybe that's <laughs> the whole point. Maybe human life is so you, from another you planet. In transpermia then, or what? I believe whatever the fuck we've been told is not the truth, is what I believe. So, what I'm saying to you, unto you and radio people out there, is as bizarre as that may sound to you, is as bizarre how the Bible thing sounds to me. It's well, a metaphor. Well, let me ask you this, you know? then. What? Let me ask you this, what? then. If, if there's such a consorted effort mm -hmm. to cover up truth, to tell lies, mm -hmm. there has to be some source of truth in something mm. that we can fathom that out, right? Why so, does it have to be a we thing? Well, nah, we you lost me then. Together. Nah. I say we collectively as uh, each of us individually. But that's the only thing. thing there is, is each of us individually. That's the whole point I try to make. There is no so if we. You were, ben, if Vincent, you were a juror, Vincent, let me ask you. Not finished yet. There is right, well, no yeah. we as in us. There is only me. And the rest of you are just out outside of my vision and my arm's reach. I'll but, redact my statement of we, sir. But you're, okay, in my reality, you're not even here. <laughs> you're a voice <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> now, <laughs> let Grimmer. me ask you, sir. Right. Were you a juror and you did not have the entitled, the, uh, the, the total amount of evidence to be able to, uh, to look there to make a, a decision? Hmm. What if you were a juror and hmm. you knew there was more information, but they told you, don't you watch the news or don't you go on the Internet? And don't you look at nothing more than what we tell you can look at? Would you be doing your true duty as a juror? Would you be able to make a, a uh, informed? Are you asking me? Judgment? Yeah. When the hell, when the hell if do you're you listening, wait yeah. a minute? Okay. Yeah, otherwise, no. You have to either be a um, 
have a driver's license or register to vote to get on a jury pool <clears throat> list hop a, to hop be a, picked for the jury. A, I'll redact that statement, sir. Well, I'm just saying I'm not qualified to on sit jury, on a jury. I will say, hypothetically speaking, Mr. Flash, somebody. And and who were would you a judge? Right. And I said judge. That means you're a juror, right? I a guess, Mr. You look at all that the evidence presents. Uh, to what evidence? And then you judge, and then you advocate for truth. No, I don't. Well, no, I advocate for every man for his fucking self. You know, if you want reality, do as will. If you want reality, then just be real and stop lying. Well, we but. go into that there with uh, on down there past Schofield. Some of the influences of, of people. Hmm. Who is that guy? <clears throat> um, that uh, was the, started the Church of Satan, I think. Hmm. I know his name. Uh, uh, Alex, or, or what's his hooks? No, what was his name? I don't know. Uh, you're asking me about an I don't know. What? Um, Alex? No. Well, no. You said Alex. I can't remember his name. Who? Yeah, but that wasn't right. Wasn't right. Okay. No. What What topic are you on about? Religious nutters. And, Alex, and a guy named yeah. Alex that was a religion nutter? No, I, not, not Alex. Uh, oh. Something else. What about that Baker guy? He was pretty good. The one that built all those old people out of money and then <laughs> yeah. had his wife cry on TV and run her makeup. Oh, up. man. Did you imagine the... Uh, she probably got her makeup in five-gallon buckets. Beside the point, I was just using it as a identifier, not as a... Yeah. She was... I mean, just the idea that to... Do that to people on purpose and then hide behind the very thing you use to get them is your defense. <laughs> Help me. See, because, you know, you're forgiven and all that shit. But that, how do you overlook somebody taking advantage of people because they can? How do you justify because. that? For no other reason. Greed. Because it was available to do. So they did it. It was like, now that's some cold fucking people right there. Hmm. You don't think so? Yeah. Because I, I see people that are obviously way older than I am all the time here. And a lot of them are in phys you know, a lot worse physical shape. So I appreciate what little bit I got. And it ain't got shit to do with uh, <laughs> the traditional trappings of life. Oh, I know where I'm trying to find that. What are you trying to find? Poly, poly video. Yeah. Uh, I want the option of playing the sexual card. What's the game? 40, where was it? 42. 42. 43. Yeah, oh, well, Epstein says that he is a collector of persons. It's at like... Oh, right. 4326. I don't know. Did he mean that literally? Yeah, being a collector of persons. So it's right before here. I'm going to grab this. This is a... Uh, he's going to grab it. Stuff. Yeah, from uh, he's grabbing from, like uh, Wana Taco. Yes, this is the amazing Polly. The amazing Polly, live on the Real Liberty Media dot com chat for your in. so you have to back up a couple of seconds. So for audio this, this will open at the end of the video, but it points out who these people are. Uh, I should go mute it and get through here. This. Uh, yeah, all the way into the oh, uh, okay. Crowley. What's his name? Crowley. Uh, a lot, a Alistair bit. Crowley. Yeah, that's him. Yes, that's his name. I know. Yeah, that's yes. who I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, it ties in with the likes of that. Oh, so do the Bushes. Yeah. Barbara Bush. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Barbara Bush. They, there was a rumor for a while that Barbara Bush could have been Alistair Crowley's illegitimate love child. And who knew, you know, how do you prove it one way or the other? All the players are all dead now, so we got plenty of stories to tell. But this is why I, history, please, go away oh, with your history o. Oh. Wow, how come it starts in at 43 minutes? Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, the nasty court case from Twitter? No. No. No, the no, uh, Epstein's mad science thing, right? Yeah, that was that uh, the yeah. amazing Polly. Yeah, yeah well, it's Polly just cool. I'm talking out loud here, mister, Thank because you. I'm doing the notes while we do this. 
And I'm going to throw that link into the notes because you brought it up on the show. And, uh, whoops, but help if I pasted it, wouldn't it? Huh? 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 Bet you don't Maybe. know. And I just call that the Amazing Polly, right? Yeah. The Amazing Polly want a cracker. Polly want a cracker. I don't want a cracker. Do you okay, want a cracker? Go hey, cracker, you want a cracker? I know, Gribner, Mr. Mr. Crowley. Crack corn and because, I don't care. You know, there's something to that satanic stuff. I got to admit that. Just like there's mm. something to the religious stuff and the thing I attribute to being to it is people believe it. There you go. I think yet yeah, it's possible to take a neutral stand on that those two subjects hmm. might not be possible to hold it for very long but i can take it and eventually i uh, i guess you could piss me off enough to do some hey shut up i'm talking hold on no but no right yeah you, go answer that phone you ringing phone guy uh, but yeah i could be angered enough to uh to act out i think that's the whole point of uh, what we're what we do on the dork table and some of the shit I talk about is we get pushed around in these wavelengths that we're not aware of and we're interpreting them and they, they get pro they, what they produce is illness. That's your body is telling you something's fucking wrong in uh, body talk, I guess, you know, in life language. And, that, and we got all this wrong information sending us to doctors that sell pills that cause more problems than they fix and never cure whatever your your ailment is never gets rectified so where we are now google i just saw this yesterday google is now going to have a a big pharma division of google so they're going to get into the drug selling business so i guess that's an overall hey vinny I was just making a point about how the overall, how bad things look for us globally because we, you know, the decisions being made are always working against the people is what Absolutely. I was getting to. But they lie. They tell you one thing and then something else happens and, and people do not seem to learn the lesson of it's not the player that's the fucking problem. It's the game. The design Talking about players in the game. Look at that picture that Grimner posted. Mm. Is that his daughter or his wife? Right I there? don't know his who. What? I, I asked Grimner there. Oh, this girl looks posted. wasted. I don't know. I don't like opening yeah. all kinds of look stuff. Look at Epstein. His uh, oh. look on his face is like, oh, yeah, I got him. And then Trump's over. Uh, like, ah, yeah. crap. Whatever. Yeah, she's all coked up. But see, and this is. This is what people consider attractive. All right. Uh, even I got my limits. And I'm pretty, you know, open about life. I'm not a big... Uh, don't do that. Uh, but some of these people in there, the way they represent themselves is pretty bad. There Frumpy, you go. What What's exactly? Say? Which, which nasty court case exactly was she talking about from my Twitter? Ugh. You have to help me out here. From your Twitter Talking today. The sage, sage grouse. From today. No, not from today. Yeah, it today. says your Twitter today, Vinny. Yes, but that you'll have to infer proper gram. The one you did today, Vinny. How many, how many did you do no. today? No, no. The question is, did I oh, talk about, go. listen, did I talk uh -huh. about the case today from my Twitter? See, it's like commas and where you pl place that. No, so. from your Twitter today. Video. Yes, but that's no, not, what you're, not from my Twitter you... today. But did I talk about today? <laughs> that did I talk about that nasty course? <laughs> I have no today? idea. Today. That was too weird. All right. So hey. you would want to move that over, right? No, I don't want to do anything. I grammatically. Don't correct. tell I me what to do. His uh, typification there. I'm an anarchist now. I don't. I, you ain't telling me what to do anymore. I ain't doing it. No. To use no. Or not to use. No. To comma. No. <laughs> yes. You will use a comma. Hey. Do you know what's uh, funny, though? 
using uh, not using commas is <laughs> no the the reality of how we interact on the internet is really the actions of uh, an anarchist all of us no matter if you're political or not because outside of typing your opinion something blah 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 you can't do anything to the other person so this has got to be in one one way or another the cleanest uh, interaction for these topics that there is because you can yeah. even yeah you can even ignore people it's amazing you don't like what somebody says just go iggy blah blah blah, blah yeah, da. and it does and it does it and then you got to un iggy them if you ever want to talk to them again but hey some people some people are easily amused and others are not easily amused yeah, <laughs> see because you're you're like the king of the easily amused. <laughs> hey, listen, you know what I did? Yeah. Uh, I uh, asked Pro Writing Aid. They came out with a oh, new feature. Okay. It's really cool. I've talked about this before, but mm. um, yeah, they had a a, a typo yeah. in this new thing that they got out. Uh, Pro Writing uh, grammar checker, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give them because I see them going forward with this grammar checker as a competition to Grammarly. So I'm going to suggest to them the, uh, they could call it Grammaker, <laughs> G-R-A-M, and then, you know, like uh, give some contrast to the word and capitalize the E in E-C-H-E-R, Grammaker. Kind of, you think it's catchy? I think that's why I call this show The Dork Table. I, I like it. What do you See think? what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So, exactly. I'd be famous with it. Start with me catching their typo exactly. where they said, a, the comparative adjective cooler is used to, they put prepare my brother's cool factor <laughs> to my own. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, it comes out on top. So I said, uh, yeah, is that, shouldn't it be compare? And it, yes, it was. Whoops. They said, I'll get that fixed ASAP. Thanks for letting us know. And uh, great to hear that you find it helpful. I'll pass along your kind words to our team. The, the, Welcome yeah, the to the torch table, Vinny. Uh-huh. That is really a really, really great thing to use. Way better uh, than than the Grammarly things. It's pro write, prowritinga.com. And then, yeah, yeah but you, you know what? Their grammar checker. So what? I'm going to suggest that uh, they use my name as their squish word to make up their, you know, alternative name of uh, uh, Grammarly. Yeah, so, but are you going to? You like gonna, it? Gonna, Tell me if you like it. Are first. you? Grammarker. Grammarker. It's all right. Got to catch it, right? That's Maybe, cool. but are you going to be on uh, in a perfect world this week, two o'clock in the morning? I probably doubt it. Ah, oh, you big baby! Oh, it's only midnight where you're at. No, I think it's two o'clock or one o'clock. Two o'clock on the East Coast. Yeah, one o'clock in the Arkansas time. Ah, <laughs> you big baby! Well, sometimes I wake up, you know. At yeah. One yeah, but <laughs> okay. Well, we're, were you going to have to get back to the? Normal thing. Oh, summertime's still here, huh? Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, that was my buddy called. We uh, got a we got uh, a whole summer rain. of this. I got clothes on the line. I better get them off right. uh, after this. Season. Yeah. Well, uh, then do the lineup. Go for a buggy ride. Go down to the river. Do the lineup, Edith. Uh, okay, I <laughs> see. So let's see. Let's see tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Uh, tomorrow uh, at noon. Come 15 minutes early and tune in as Gramner, the great and mighty. Let's play some blues and some music. And we play fast finger trivia games right here in the reallibertymedia.com chat room. Followed three hours later. That's noon o'clock on the left coast. Pal Anthony comes from behind the woodshed. Ooh. Monday, Grimner's back. Grimner with some grim leftovers. Um, that might make your belly churn a little bit. Sometimes you just got to... Take it down with a dose of salt, right? <laughs> I don't know. Get your grim news at 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here at reallibertymedia.com, RLMradio.xyz. And then a few hours later, here comes Mr. Flash Somebody in Ooh. a perfect world. Yeah. It, 8 o'clock his time, which puts it 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Eastern time uh, here in America. Uh, Eastern <laughs> Now, Wednesday, Grammy's back, 7 o'clock with the blast off in a racket chair. And again on Friday at the same time, 7, back up to 20% off on Thursday. There he is, Mr. Flash somebody again. Quite a deal. Come on along.
It's, it's almost as good as the Grim Leftovers. It's just, oh, it hurts your belly. Bring your coupons. But, hey, yeah, it's your getting discount, son. No complaints. <laughs> uh, all you can eat, no money back. <laughs> no doggy bags. <laughs> Get your dog out of here. <laughs> 11, Friday. It's the Freakers Ball, y'all. That's right. Um, and sometimes balls through the walls. Ah. And, uh, most of these escape their her confines in their pasture that she roams about in. Ah. Up in Minnesota, eh? No, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. It's the same thing. Wisconsin soda. <laughs> Aren't they that's about the same? I that's not a Don't fair they, thing to say. I'm telling do they you. Speak, do they say A? Most You're asking you me, a. do I live over there? <laughs> We could, we could ask Dork Cake. Dork Cake. Hey, what's up? Hey. They're almost like a, a bilingual. You know, they speak Canadian and stuff, eh? <laughs> Remember the Freakers Friday. That's right. Spelled F R E E. Be free. Yes. It's not do us that well. Do what is right and good. Okay. And then come back here in the Dork Table the next. Saturday uh, that follows the one for uh, the Dork Tape. Uh, okay. We have been contrasting the occupation uh, actually today. Mostly dork, dork. mostly it was us against the Jews. Not See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.